Okay, let's get back to Ron right now because he is tracking a lot this morning. Uh, the rain has definitely moved yep. into our area with yep. lightning, and now we're talking about the tornadoes in Ohio. Yeah, and how they're you know yep. causing issues there. But something you mentioned that the severe weather for us is happening in the next hour or two. Yeah, you know, and I want to show you what's going on inside of this storm. Look at it. Yeah, we have those reds. The reds are especially at this time, especially if you don't have a lot of other colors around them. That's going to be the concern that we're going to be looking at. But notice how we're starting to to see more yellow starting to grow into this. That's what you want to see at this time. That is going to be that heavier rain, but that's also going to take away a lot of the severe weather threat that's coming to the storm system. So just a little bit ago, especially with the red, it wasn't really around any yellow. Now we're starting to see it kind of connecting to the yellow. That's what you want to see. The severe weather threat, while it will still be there as the storm system comes through, it's going to be starting to be limited as it continues to work its way off to the east. A lot of lightning, though. These are what we call lightning storms that are developing. That is going to be impacting us over the next couple of hours. In fact, the first little bit of lightning starting to show up in parts of both Beaver County, Washington County, and into Allegheny County. Also, man, I want to take you down. I want to step off of the uh, screen really quickly. I want to take you down over to the Uniontown area where you're also seeing a lot of lightning at this point. So let's zoom in and just kind of show you what's going on over into Uniontown. This is south of Uniontown, uh, but you can see it's about to be impacting the Uniontown area right around Spring Hill, Wharton area. That's on uh, State Highway 40 that we're looking at. Henry Clay within about 15 minutes, probably less than that, you're going to be dealing with those storms coming through. Hey, if you're along the Parkway West, you probably have about 10 minutes or so before the first of those thunderstorms with some downpours are going to be getting to you. So that's going to be moving into the North and South Fayette areas up into Robinson, the moon area right on top of the airport. Now they're showing some storms uh, that we're dealing with. What other communities are dealing with some storms? Hey, what about Newcastle right at Mercer County? You have a downpour there right along I 80. That's going to be crossing 79 within the next five to 10 minutes. All of these storms, by the way, they are racing off to the east at around 35 to 40 miles an hour. So these are some fast moving storms that are coming our way. Let's talk about the setup. We have a cold front off to our west. That's going to be pushing through at one o'clock. Once that happens, the rest of the day, we won't see any storms. Might see some snow, but you're not going to see any storms from that. But ahead of this, we have that. If you remember yesterday morning, I was talking about convergence at the surface. So we have winds coming together, divergence aloft. And what you get in those situations are these big storm cells. A lot of lightning again. We got a line of storms stretching uh, just south of I-70, but this is what's going to be moving in here. All right, I did switch. If you remember 30 minutes ago, I said I, I really don't like what the model was showing. I felt that it was a little off in some areas, so we've switched over to what we call the HER model, H-R-R-R model. It's going to be better. It's going to show the storms around right on top of us at 7 o'clock. Remember in the last hour I had the, the model. It wasn't showing the storms until 8. This is showing those storm cells right on top of us at 7 o'clock. By 8 o'clock, we start to see kind of a line developing from Newcastle over to the Cambridge area. That's going to head down to the south where instability is. So it's going to find that instability and it's going to start to move down to the south. So by 10 o'clock, we're looking at mostly rain showers at this point in Pittsburgh. Stormy conditions right along the state line with uh, West Virginia. Cold front comes in. Love how this is showing the cold front coming through with some cells that are fairly strong. A lot of lightning, maybe even some hail right at one o'clock. That's when the cold front comes through. By four o'clock, rain's moving out. We have a chance that we could be looking at some light snow kind of moving in. Wind speeds will start to pick up behind all of this, and they'll be sticking around through the overnight hours tonight. So wind is the biggest concern, along with flash flooding for the uh, day when it comes to severe weather. The wind speeds will be strongest at around 10 o'clock through around 1 o'clock as that cold front comes through. We'll remain gusty with our winds even behind the stormy conditions that we're looking at. Flash flooding, especially south of I-70, that's going to be the concern. Can't completely rule out both hail and a tornado risk over the course of the uh, morning hours as those cells come through. Really, if we're going to see that probably the next two to three hours with this next cell would be the most likely time for that. We could see it also with the cold front. All right, behind everything, the flood watch goes all the way up until seven o'clock tonight. We're looking at one to two inches of rain coming in uh, being still possible. Could see some flooding there. Wind advisory last overnight tonight. 
goes through seven o'clock. I want to just quickly show you Somerset County where you could see winds gusting maybe past 50 miles an hour there. Notice the peak time period. This is going to be between five and around nine o'clock that we're going to see the peak time period for those strong gusty winds. All right, quickly, I just want to get to your forecast 63 your temperature right now. We're likely sitting on our high temperature for the day. Temperatures are rapidly going to be dropping behind that front. In fact, by seven o'clock, we're at 39 and I have us in the 20s for our lows today. That'll be hit technically just before midnight tonight. 36 your Thursday high 51 on Friday. Then we start to warm up. In fact, by Sunday, hey, the weekend's looking fantastic. By Sunday, we're looking at a high near 70.